lot of discrepancy about the uh, that carp cheater that Thunderbird 289 is selling and what it does it utilizes a vacuum port solenoid that uh, monitors the O2 sensor that comes in a kit and basically long story short it uses the vacuum port solenoid to uh, allow air in to lean the mixtures or reaching the mixtures up on the fly while you drive which a lot of people are saying is dumb because if you could tune a carburetor correctly you wouldn't need it well that's not true when you tune a carburetor you turn it at idle and maybe after driving it a while you notice that your plugs are suited up or white from burning rich or lean or whatever you know <clears throat> and you can change your jets out in your carburetor for your mid-range or high rpm jets whatever your idle circuits all that but once they're in there they're done so what do you do for different temperatures elevations load you cannot I never met a man on this planet that could tune a carburetor while driving on the fly. And so, without going full EFI, there was really no way to have something to correct your fuel mixture on the go. And this, this can do it. Um, it's real-time fuel management with a carburetor and um, <clears throat> heck here's an example say that one of your jets your say two barrel four barrel suddenly became clogged within well, what it's gonna run super super lean and then this would allow for artificial mixing by fully closing your idle, I mean your uh, vacuum port on that solenoid, assuming that you reach in the mixture to begin with. So what I would do is have a baseline on the carburetor running rich to allow for warm up and all that. And then once cars warmed up, cut this on, or have this to program to wear, which you can do with the phone, with the app, and that's the other beautiful part of it, you can program it with a timer, or with a sense of monitors to coolant temp, have it where once it reaches a certain engine temp, it switches form from closed loop where it warms up to uh, warm up mixture and set the fuel mixture to where it can run a little rich, a little bit, and then once it hits maybe 130, 140 degree cool tip, have it rich, I mean, lean on out to normal. So you, you used to kind of do that with a little choke, twisty thing, thermo, the thermo, whatever, coil, and then electric chokes are completely irresponsive of any temperature change. All they do is they get electrical charge when the key's on and the longer it gets an electrical charge the more it opens up. It don't matter if the engine's warm or not, it doesn't matter if the carburetor's warmed up or not, it don't matter if it's snowing outside or 300 degrees outside, it's gonna open that choke up. And the other bad side is once the engine is warmed up and you go into Walmart or the gas station or whatever and lolly gag for a minute, that choke closes up. When you come back outside, guess what happens? You flood the engine out because you're starting a vehicle with it already warmed up and it's dumping fuel in it. So with this, we're not have to worry about all that. 
um, you could program your warm-up cycle into it, and it actually be correct, no matter the outside temp or the engine temp or whatever. So, and a lot of y'all are like, well, if it's rich, who cares? I could afford it. Yeah, but uh, with it washing out your cylinders, your piston rings, and everything else, wasting gas, you're actually losing power if you're running too rich. Uh, or lean. So, um, you know, whatever. I'll be getting it. I'll be utilizing it. And frankly, I might use it on the uh, CB400 just to see how I can get it to work on their cycle. And I'll tell you one thing I'll absolutely be using it on also is a formal uh, Cub Tractor 48 model. So, yeah, good luck getting a Holly Sniper set up for that. But I can do this, absolutely. So, when I drop those plows in and rear and idle it up, this will be able to correct my fuel mixture. And it'll need it, you know, change. It's constant change, constant load change, uh, temp changes, and not this and that. And you're looking at something that doesn't even have a water pump. No water pump. It has coolant, but no water pump. So, um, the more adaptive that it is, the better. We've got the Protronics pickup module and distributor for you know, get rid of the points, so that's the start, so, yeah, I think this is going to be pretty awesome, it doesn't replace tuning your carburetor, once your carburetor is tuned or somewhat close, this allows it to tune itself in real time as conditions change, that's something you can't do.